Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to another DIY for nail art. This is going to be for all people who like to go super detailed on their nail art. And since my nails are quite short, I really need a, a really thin brush. Now, I bought a set at a local store. There's three. One is small, one is medium, and the other one is large. I've seen this kind of sets on Sally Beauty Supply as well as online. But I still find that the brushes are not like super, super detailed as I want them to be. As you can see, the ones on the left are done now, and this one is still like too thick for my taste. And for that, a lot of people use actually scissors, small scissors, tiny scissors. That doesn't really work for me because I can't get enough, uh, close enough of the brush itself. And I lose a lot of uh, hairs that I didn't want to lose and stuff like that. And a lot of people use uh, nail cutters. That again doesn't work for me. So what I do, and I'm going to show you before and after. So with these brushes, without doing anything with them, this is most likely the line you would get. As you can see, it's pretty damn thick. It covers um, a huge part of my nail. And the more I dip it, and the, the more polish I have on the brush, and the thicker it gets. So this is the before. But to get rid of the excess, I use an exacto knife. This comes like this. I bought it at a big craft store. And you have to just be careful because it's a knife. After okay, all. so here is the standard brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my exacto knife from this side. I'm going to rotate the hand that is holding the brush, and the one that is holding my exacto knife is going to just stand still. You just have to go all the way around. And just kind of start removing those. Cut. Then just go all the way around. You just gotta be careful because sometimes you just go all the way and you just end up with nothing. Be removing the excess as you go so you can see what else is left. And we're going to just be rotating it so we can have an even cut. Stop until you want or you feel like it's enough and you can work with it. For me, I can go a bit more. Remember to be rotating your brush so everything goes and you're not going to be only cutting one side. Here's when you just kind of want to be careful because if you cut more then you cannot lose it all, so go back and shake it with your nails and such to see if that's enough. And sometimes it helps as well to just stand against the light and see what else they cut. And just compare with other ones just to see if they are even. This is what it looks like as close as I can show it to you. So I thought I was recording but I wasn't, typical me. But I just tried my new brush with some polish on it. It's going to go in the middle here. As you can see, I'm kind of shaky. I'm really shaky, but this is pretty much well you get. If you want to have like more details, you can even write letters with this. I'm going to write something really quickly. Looks better, I think. A bit more fine. So a high for you and this is pretty much all I wanted to share. I hope it helped you or just gave you an idea of what you can do with your brushes if they are not like super super thin enough or as you like them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more stuff and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye guys.